And welcome back here to Torquay Beach, round six of the Summer of Surf here on Fox Sports. And up next, we have the final of the first National Real Estate Women's Board Series and a little bit different today as well, Josh. Yeah, we got a little different start here. They'll start down the beach, run up and grab their boards. But as we saw in the, in the ski races, a couple more of the local girls coming in. There's a big contingent here from Torquay. They, they've got a bright future down here. As we saw, Tess Double, she won the swim earlier on. And, and Sarah Hart, she's another good board competitor. And, and then we've got all the usual subs, suspects here. We've got Danielle McKenzie, Maddie Dunn, uh, Kirsty Hickinson and Kira Kinsey in there. And, and we, can't, we can't count out the ski race winner, Amy Nerd and she's definitely one to watch. Yeah, so big host, 21 competitors in this uh, board final. And once again, uh, this is what this gym wall, uh, obviously, uh, event and carnival really does for us at the Summer of Surf. Gives us something different. There we go. Uh, well, you call it the beach flag start. I'd call it the... Uh, the belt start there yeah, for the board race. I guess we call I We think it's the board flags in here. Is It's just something a little different down here. They do everything a little different down here, and that's why people keep coming back year after year. And it's why it's the, the longest-running Ironman race in, in the country, getting on 52 years now. So Harriet Brown, as we spoke about it all summer so far, got those legs out of the water out in front, and she's really taking advantage of that board start. Yeah, great to see the redhead cap in there as well. Most of these girls not racing with caps today, so it makes it a little bit harder to distinguish there, but no uh, problem distinguishing Harriet Brown on the yellow board and in front, and it's something we've been used to for the last few summers. Yeah, she, she let, we saw in that Iron Woman race how well she did once she got out in front on the board, and she's just done the same thing here. She's put maybe four body lengths from, that looks like Lizzie Wellborn there, the, the young girl on the yellow board in the centre of your screen. She's trying to latch onto her tail there. She's only a first year 17, just started up. She's got a bright future, part of the New South Wales state team, and, and she's a great board paddler. I think she finished silver, uh, finished in silver at the state titles in the board race. So she's one of, the, one of the ones to watch out for in the future, and she's really showing how good she is at this point. Yeah, from the North Bondi Club as well. We, we don't see too many competitors from uh, North Bondi these days, and uh, great to see her here and making the journey to Victoria, and no doubt set to see her as our summer continues and, and makes the journey up to, to Sydney and the Sydney beaches. But wave coming here, and well, what is it with the yellow boards as Wellborn comes down? A little jag on Harriet Brown, and it's the two golden boards in the golden medal position right now. Yeah, they're out in front and they're doing it easy. That, that's reward for effort. We speak about it all the time. Got the leader's wave. They'll come down here. They'll turn the flag back out again. M-shape once again as these girls come up the beach. So it's, um, yeah, it's a tough day out here for these girls. They're, they'll be up around the flag and, and go again. So you've got to set yourself here. Let the heart rate drop. Make sure you don't make any mistakes and, and destroy this advantage that you've built up as, as we see the rest of the girls coming up the beach. They're coming thick and fast. That's, that's Amy Nerthen on the inside there. There's Maddie Dunn. We see her coming around, Georgia Miller. So some of the iron women, a lot of the time, Kurt, we see the iron men and iron women do well in the board race. It's a, it's a different discipline. It doesn't have your, your kayaking, your ski paddling, your pool swimming to, to your surf swimming. So normally it's it's the iron women and iron men who, who do the most board paddling out of anyone. Yeah, you've got to stay out of trouble here as we see Amy Nerven going past. But much like the ski race, if you can get out and around uh, unscathed and on your own, so much easier to negotiate as we see a uh, Wellborn and uh, Brown out in front and looking uh, looking pretty confident. Looks like Tara Coleman there as well. And Kirsty Higgison closest to screen on that pink and blue and white board. Uh, another redhead competitor in there. Good to see a big redhead contingent come down as well and make the journey here to Victoria. Yeah, it's one of the great clubs and it's one of the great um, enjoyable clubs. They, they do a lot of racing. They, they go on road trips. They take the younger competitors, teach them what it's all about. And, and with leaders like your Pete Scotts, your Timmy Forens, and, and the, the young guns coming through like your Isaac Costellos, mate, it's, a, it's one of the leading clubs in New South Wales and Australia at the moment. Well, there we go. A bit of experience there coming. And now the girl's on their stomach, and this is so critical. Look at Harriet Brown just moving it. She's got this off the off the uh, turning boy, and she's still kept it going. So great job there by Brown. And just the experience just shone through in the end. She just felt that runner coming, and that extra board length made all the difference. Yeah, she just muscled Lily, um, Lily going around that flag there, and, and she, she did a good job. She muscled her out, made sure she was in front, and she was rewarded when those first runners came. She got first come, first serve, and she has a little smile there. She's enjoying her day out here. Is there any Thing she can't do, Kurt. Oh, Harriet Brown, all smiles here, and you knew she was going to step it up. She loves coming back home in front of her family and friends, and we've said it so much from Ocean Grove, and she made the big journey. It was a tough one to go up there to the Gold Coast and leave it all behind, but she's coming back home every time. She lifts, and she takes another victory, so took out the Iron Woman, now takes out the board race here at the Summer of Surf, and what about this youngster? Oh, my goodness, Lizzie Wellborn, a big future ahead of her, and now the battle on 
for the minor placings. Matty Dunn there of Northcliffe just ahead of Kirsty Hardstaff from City of Perth. Looks like Amy Northern there as well. Great to see Hardstaff make the journey across the Nullarbor in there. Tara Coleman as well. So Harriet Brown having a field day in front of the hometown family and friends, scoring another victory after already a win in the Open Ironwoman. She backs it up with a win here in the first National Real Estate Women's Board Series. Maximum points ahead of this teenage sensation, Lizzie Wellborn of North Bondi. Big future for her. Maddie Dunn from BMD Northcliffe. And also great to see Kirsty Hardstaff making the journey across from the west and the City of Perth Club. And therein also great representation from Mooloolaba and also the Redhead Club. And Sean Hines, and a big thank you to him and First National Real Estate for their support here at the Summer of Surf. Absolute dominating race out there. How was the Le Mans start? Oh, it was a little bit different. We haven't done that before in a board race, so I don't think we really know what was going on, but it's good fun doing different stuff, and it's absolutely freezing out there, so I'm kind of glad to finish and I'll rug up soon. Did you have any strategies in the water? Um, just go as fast as I can, really. It was a long run, so I kind of like that with long legs. The weight was good, so yeah. Cracking win, congratulations. Thanks, Katie. Yeah, great job, Harriet Brown. Let's take a look at the overall point score after six rounds here in our first National Real Estate Women's Board Series. Carly Nervin, a commanding lead in front from the Malula Bar Club on 188 points. And then the battle on once again behind her, Maddie Dunn, Jordan Mercer, our winner today, Harriet Brown, Amy Nervin as well, all the Queenslanders there. But this is sure to mix up as well as our Summer of Surf moves also down here in Victoria up to New South Wales for the next few rounds. So stick with us. It's going to be really interesting to see 